So Japan is going to be a very unique Civ in Civilization VI because they're going to thrive in areas and places where most other leaders wouldn't. So Hojo is the new leader of the Japanese Empire, and this nation is really going to do well in those archipelago type maps, as well as especially small continents, which gets me into their leader ability. So they're going to be given bonuses for land units and naval units if they're fighting off the coast. So if you have a ship that's uh, out kind of near a coastal tile and it's fighting another ship, they're going to be getting a little bit of a combat bonus, as well as if you have a land unit that's fighting near the beaches, you'll be given a, uh, a little nice bonus as well. This really makes me think that you know, Japan it will be great for a domination victory. Uh, so far, I'm really, really liking the opportunities I see uh, as the Japanese for going after and, and taking capitals. Obviously, you know, it'll be a little bit harder if it's a Pangaea map, but even if it's just a continents-based map, I think you have a good opportunity, especially since most civs tend to eventually go near the coast and, and try to get up uh, some sort of naval production. Um, so that's going to be really cool. Let's jump into their special ability. This is what I was saying. They're going to be able to thrive in smaller areas. So this is going to buff districts based on the number of adjacent districts, causing their cities to be tightly compacted um, at their most effective. So like I said, a, a small island or a small continent would work really well for Japan. They don't need all this land. They won't need to spread as much. Um, and that's something that you know I find myself constantly doing in Civ 6 is constantly like kind of needing more room, more tiles to expand because you know you're always trying to um, you know trying to, to get more land and put more districts down and, and go after luxury resources or, st or strategic resources. Um, for Japan, you're naturally going to want to build tighter. So. This is going to be cool. I, I'm really excited to try them out and try them out on like a, a like a small island or something like that. It seems only fitting that uh, you know Japan's you know is 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 thrives on kind of a small continent like that. Um, anyways, so let's jump into their unique unit, the samurai. We're all used to this in Civ Five, which is going to give them uh, full strength even when damaged. That's something that we all we've all kind of been used to. This is something that I think uh, we can all wrap our brains around. Finally, let's talk about the unique building. Their electronics factory uh, replaces the basic factory, and it provides culture and production to all nearby cities, not just the city that it's owned by. Now, that could be a really, really big building. I, it's it's all nearby buildings, so I'm assuming there's probably like a I don't know a three to six tile limit. But because you're already building compacted together, um, but, you know, because because of the uh, what we just talked about, their special ability, we are already going to be kind of given bonuses for trying to play uh, kind of tighter, putting your districts next to each other so you get those adjacency bonuses. Uh, the electronics factory might really, really be a nice extra incentive because you'll be getting extra culture and production. Really curious to see, first of all, you know, the best route to play that as as a human but also how the AI is going to handle that. Imagine trying to attack a Japanese city that's kind of closer together, uh, probably based off the coast, probably going to be getting that, that leader bonus. Uh, they're going to be getting land unit bonuses and, and naval bonuses off the coast. This is a really cool sieve. I really think that we're going to see a lot of players going for a domination victory with Hojo as Japan. So the Japanese are probably going to be in like my top three first playthroughs in Civ 6 when it first releases, just because they offer such a unique experience uh, just to be so heavily reliant on the coast as well as kind of to thrive in those small areas. I'm really curious to see how that's going to all work out. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. More videos like this will be coming soon, and I'll see you guys next time.